r slash credit. What movie do you believe everyone should watch at least once? Everyone should watch Schindler's List once. And probably only once. I teach world history, and I watch it with each of my classes, when we get to the holocaust. I still cry every time, when he talks about how he could have saved more. And then again 3 minutes later, when they visit his grave. That end scene is insanely powerful. I get choked up every time. The Shawshank Redemption. Get busy living, or get busy dying. Crawled through a river of shit, and came out clean on the other side. 500 yards. That's the length of 5 football fields. Just shy of half a mile god damn it I love Morgan Freeman's voice. I remember thinking, it would take a man 600 years, to tunnel through the wall with it. Old Dundee did it in less than 20. Life is beautiful. Amelie in City of God. Amelie is f***ing delightful. Life is beautiful breaks my heart every time. The Green Mile. Rip Duncan. He's such a talented actor. He nailed the gentle giant so well. But can just as easily portray a badass. Absolutely. Requiem for a dream. That shit will scare you from ever doing drugs in your life. As well as train spotting. I'm so glad I saw that movie young. A huge heroin epidemic happened in my high school slash town in 97 over 98. That baby scene still makes my heart stop when I think of it. I wasn't a just say no kinda girl, but it scared me straight of age. 12 Angry Men. It's such a great movie and holds up well for being over 60 years old. OMG I had to watch that in English, and I still remembered when we actually did the play. An American Werewolf in London, 1981. Everything about it is just amazing. And the iconic transformation scene is still fantastic almost 40 years later. American History X should be required viewing. Interesting fact about that movie. The director hated Norton and basically left the film unfinished. Norton had to essentially become an editor and save it because it was unwatchable in the director's cut. This director had a commercial background and hadn't done features, so it was a lot of quick cuts and killed the rhythm of the movie. So not only did Ed Norton give an amazing Oscar-nominated performance, but he also could have been nominated for Best Editor. However no good deed goes unpunished, and for his me day Ling Norton was blasted in the press by this director as being difficult to work with. A stigma he still has to this day, and one he played up and made light of in Badman. Meddling. Airplane. I just want to say good luck. We're all counting on you. Grave of the Fireflies. Especially if you're the sort of person who thinks animated movies are for kids only. Animation has the potential to tell poignant, mature stories and that movie is a great example of that. Ah fuck. Gets me in the feels every time. Every time. Once was enough for me. My heart can't watch that movie any more times. The Silence of the Lambs. A teacher of mine was on the crew for that one. According to him. Almost nobody on set thought it was going to be anything particularly worth noting. They just saw it as some weird thriller, based on a book. Totally blindsided him when it came out and blew up. He's still in the industry. Takeaway after that was to never judge a film before you see the final product. Definitely Spirited Away. Howl's Moving Castle and Kicker's Delivery Service are great picks too. Loved those. Laputa Castle in the Sky is also stunning edit, don't know why I suddenly got downvoted it's a genuinely good film. I love almost all of Miyazaki's work. Howl's Moving Castle is my favorite movie ever. The Blues Brothers. It is my favorite movie of all time. There's so much awesome stuff in it. Plus tons of absolute music legends. We are on a mission from God. It's 106 miles to Chicago. We've got a full tank of gas. Half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Peter Gunn plays. 
The Truman Show. Forrest Gump. But, Lieutenant Dan. You ain't got no legs. Stupid is as stupid does. Up. I know it's a kid's movie. But the first five minutes really wake me up to how precious life is, and that it's worth living every time I watch it. I'm still not over those first five minutes. Blazing Saddles. This movie is amazing. Back to the future. Hash 88 miles per hour. Hash 1. 21 gigawatts. Hash 4th dimensional. Great. Scott. The Princess Bride. Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Y'all gotta stop. All I can see is the post of him talking about the six-fingered man being representative of his father's cancer. And that shit gets me. The Matrix. Agreed. It's too bad they never made any sequels. The freeway scene in the second one is pretty I I f good. To me it's literally the best action sequence ever. The multi-smith fight is amazing as well. Other than the fight between Smith and Nier at the end 3 is completely forgettable. The multi-smith fight was one of my favorite action scenes of all time as a kid. Watched it again as an adult. It's kinda like back when we thought originals Bark slash PlayStation graphics were good and then after years of next gen you realize they were shit. Yeah same thing with that scene unfortunately. <laughs> Saving Private Ryan. It's an amazing movie, but the first 20 minutes or so with the beach scene. That should be required watching. War is not something the average person will ever experience. But that scene shows some horrific imagery. Plus it's just a good damn movie. That part's fine. It's the medic's death. And then later the knife scene with that German guy towards the end. Still hard to watch. Mama. 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 No 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 knife sound god I love that movie. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Tis but a scratch. Lord of the Rings Trilogy. You forgot to mention extended edition. Theatrical versions are for heretics. I scrolled and didn't see Citizen Kane right away so that. Rosebud. It's a wonderful life. It's such a nice film with a nice message. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas. And I think we always need a bit more happiness in our world. It occurred to me just this week that. While there are scenes pertaining to Christmas and I. The movie actually has very little to do with the holidays at all. It's almost as Christmas wires die hard as. Although, the big differentiation between the two is that it's a wonderful life shares a lot of the emotions and spirit Christmas and the holidays intend to share. Love your family and friends. Spend time with them. Doing selfless things. Etc. Close bracket. That. And I hate how the internet collectively loves toting that Die Hard's a Christmas film with a smug expression. As if that's a great and unique realization that'll make them inherently more interesting. Killer Bean Forever It's Free on YouTube It's Beautiful. Ferris Bula's Day Off. Hash save Ferris. When Cameron was in Egypt's land. Let my Cameron go. Good fellas. Literally just finished watching it. Was on my free view. As far back as I can remember. I always wanted to be a gangster. My friend kept begging me to finish it. Because I never seen the rest of it. I'm one of those people. The ending really pissed me off. But in a good way. Brilliant movie. Boys in the Hood. Rick I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Thanks I'm crying now. Alien. And Predator. But not Alien vs. Predator. You've reached the end. You're a star. Destroy the subscribe button for more like that.